Hello everyone, welcome to another video of creating 2D autographic projection drawing using Autodesk AutoCAD for figure 3 question 1D. We will be drawing in third angle projection. So let's head over to our question in page 3-9. Alright, so this is the question. And then we have here a 3D model done in Autodesk Inventor for references. Uh, so the first step, let's identify uh, how many views is required. So our view A is our front view. Now view B is coming from the right side, which is we have to create a right end view. And a plan view will be placed on top of your front view. So the first step is always to try to draw the simplest portion first. All right. So we have to identify which area is the simplest to draw. For this case, the simplest is actually the plan view because it shows most of the views given. At, this, at the same time, we need to plan out how the view will be placed in your drawing. So as mentioned here, uh, your front view, which is view A here, and then we have a right end view from view B, and the plan view is from on top of the front view. So generally, let's have a visualization of how the three views is supposed to be drawn in your drawing template. So without further ado, let's delete this drawing and we can start. So I've mentioned just now, I'll be drawing from the plan view and then followed by front and we end it as the end view. Okay, the right side view. So first step, let's draw the circle. So we have this diameter 50 circle. All right. And then we also have this uh, U shape or C shape channel. Okay. So let's do these two main prominent shape first. So I will do the diameter 50 first. So let's start with circle. First step, it's always best to check your layer. So let's change it to outline. And then we can draw our plan view somewhere on the top left hand corner. So let's draw it. For this case, we like to draw it in diameter mode. So click on diameter and enter in 50. In our drawing, the C channel, the center of the C channel is 98 mm away from the diameter 50 center. So let's start with that. At the same time, uh, the big radius of this uh, C channel, okay, or the diameter it is, is actually at 24 mm. Okay. So if you see here, you trace, you trace it out, it's actually measuring the diameter of the C channel. So let's start this. Let's create a circle. Wiggle this main diameter 50 circle to get the center of it. From here, we will wait for a few milliseconds and then we will drag it to the right slowly. Okay, take note there's a green tracing line. Now enter 98. So that is a part from the center of this fella by 98 mm. And our radius this time, let's convert it to diameter mode and change it to 24. Now, let's create this horizontal line, okay, which is have a length of 15, okay, top and bottom. And after that, I will create an offset. I will use the offset tool to offset by 6 mm because it's indicated here. So click on line to get the, the, the top of this feature here. Okay, I can press the shift key, hold on to it, right mouse click and select quadrant. And from here, I can select this topmost feature here and I will left click on it and go horizontally to the right and enter there 15. 
escape I will repeat the same thing again but this time I will select the quadrant at the bottom here so line press the shift key and hold right mouse click select quadrant and select this portion here I can enter 15 or I can just use the tracing method once done press escape key we will need to trim this portion here the right side of the diameter 24 circle okay so go to trim select this entities as a cutting tool spacebar and then we will delete this portion here once you are done we will now offset by 6 mm this one two three these three entities we will be offsetting it by 6 mm so go to your offset tool now read the command prompt it asks you specify your offset distance so 6 mm and then just click on your entities and move it inwards same thing for the diameter 24 move it inwards and lastly we end with the bottom horizontal line move it inwards okay we have gotten our C channel we just need to close it at the end so one here repeat again by pressing the escape and spacebar and then once done press the escape key now if you notice here this center of the C channel okay we will do some tracing method just visually it goes to the end it will touch us it will touch the bottom quadrant and then it will go downwards so if you notice this stem here okay touches at the quadrant of it now let's check whether this stem here touches at the same quadrant or touches at tangency so let's trace it backwards and then if you notice this is your center line of this diameter 50 however our stem here doesn't touch it so from here this gives you a clue that it's actually touching on tangency so one side of it is touching at quadrant and one point of it is touching at tangency so let's go head over to AutoCAD so click on line you will select at quadrant here okay it's easier to select now because since we have already trimmed off half of the circle now on this portion okay we need to pull out the snapping tool press the shift key hold on to it right mouse click and select tangent and we can see this symbol and once it's appearing just left click to apply it okay we can just repeat the same process or we can do the mirror tool for this case i'll just repeat the same process so click on line starting from this quadrant then press the shift key hold on to it right mouse click select tangent and we will click on here once done press escape now we generally have the main shape of the diameter 50 the C channel and the shape of the stem now let's draw this uh, slot here okay this slot coming from the center of the C channel is 32 and the slot length is actually at 20 mm okay it has a radius or a, a width a slot width of 12 okay so 32 20 and 12 all right so now I'll be drawing a circle here first and then after that I will be copying it to 20 mm away followed by drawing two horizontal lines okay let's begin click on circle I will wiggle here to get the center and then moving to the left side I will enter in 32 now I can draw the circle uh, now I'm going to draw diameter 12 so let's change it to diameter mode and type in 12 I will now copy this feature here ok 
Okay, with a base point here, right at the center of it. So you need to do a little bit of wiggling. And then I will just move it to the left and enter 20. With that, I have safely copied from the original point 20 mm away. And lastly, it's just to draw two horizontal lines. So click on line, press the shift key, right mouse click, select quadrant, starting from here, all the way to the other side, press spacebar to end the two, spacebar again to repeat. And this time, I will use tracing method, okay, starting from the center here, wait a few milliseconds and drag it down. Once you are done, you can also end it on the right side. Once done, press the space bar to end it and we have to trim this center segment here. So trim, I'll be selecting these two lines as your cutting tool, space bar and select the inner circles, the uh, inner arc, I mean. Okay, so generally we have somewhat, yeah, almost there, only thing we are not done with the counter ball hole. So let's check out with the drawing. So the details of the counter ball hole, it has a true hole of diameter 20 and a bigger larger hole of diameter 32 with a depth of 12 mm. All right. So let's start with that. Okay. So the counter ball hole will be somewhere here, right in the middle of this diameter 50 circle. Okay, quite simple. So go to circle, wiggle it to get the center, left click, and now we just need to go into diameter mode and type in 32. Repeat the same, space bar, wiggle to get the center, left click, change into diameter mode and type in 20. Alright, so with that, we have finished all the features here. What's left is actually just the center mark across, uh, one more center mark and smaller center marks for the slot hole. So let's do that. Click on line, convert this to center line, and then I will wiggle here, wait for a few milliseconds, and then I'll move it to the left. Okay, once I come about the end of the Diameter 50, I will left click and drag all the way through to the other side. Uh, for this case also, I will use tracing method, wait here for a few milliseconds and drag it down. Left click to apply and then we can left click on this uh, newly drawn line and extend it by 5mm. Repeat on both sides. I will draw another center line here 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 so there's four more center lines to be drawn line make sure your layer is correct wiggle wiggle get the center trace it up left click bring it down space bar space bar again to repeat now here space bar space bar again and here space bar again to end it now if you notice i did not draw this portion here so the idea here is for me to draw just one and I will just copy that center line to the other feature. So yeah, you only need to do a lesser method for this case. Now let's extend all this by 5mm, both sides. These two. And here. Okay. So if you notice, all our center line has a long dash, a long, short, and long. So this indicate that it's a center line. Okay. If you overall check, only this one little line that shows a continuous outline. So in this case, we need to convert it into a yeah a, sh a shorter center line. So to do so, left click it to select the line, right mouse click and go into properties once you have done so under line type scale change this to 0 0.5 and enter and with that just check again if you are getting the sh long short long dashes 
And if it's there, yeah, that's the end. You just need to copy it to the other side now. So with the line selected, click on copy. Okay, read the command prompt. They ask you to specify your base point. So select here and then wiggle wiggle to get the center line, the center point, sorry, and left click again. And with that, we have finished our plan view. Now, let's draw our front view now. So our front view, okay, the diameter 50 has a height of 35. Okay, then the bottom here of this C channel actually starts from this bottom of the diameter 50. And that C channel has a height of 12 mm. Alright, and the stem here, okay, it has an offset from the ground 3 mm with a thickness of 6 mm. So let's do bit by bit and then yeah, we can refer again to the drawing uh, anytime we want. Let's go to invent uh, AutoCAD. Our draw line, change this to construction line. And for this case, I need to draw a little bit of an offset uh, feature here. So using line, okay, change the layer to construction line. I will use the tracing method to get the extreme of the uh, the extreme location of this plan view. So one is here, another one will be from here downwards. There, I will use the offset tool and type in twenty. Okay, this value, uh, the offset distance uh, is not fixed. You can use 20, you can be using 25, 15, but not too much. Uh, your, your views are all spread out too far, but okay, just take note. So with that, I have uh, given a distance of uh, 20 mm, an offset gap of 20 mm. I will begin with this fella here. So click on line under the layer type change it to outline okay i will start from this corner the top left hand corner i will bring it down by 35 step. now horizontally i can just use the tracing method instead of keying in 50 here to here done now i'll be drawing out the counter ball hole Again, the counter ball hole have a big diameter of 32 with a depth of 12 with a true hole of a smaller with a true of a smaller hole of diameter 20. Alright, so from line, outline layer, fine. Let's do a tracing method from here downwards and we key in 12 for the depth. Horizontally, again, we do tracing method here to here and then we end it there line again now this time the smaller diameter 20 hole okay space bar twice to repeat the old function here so now let's ask ourselves can this diameter uh, counter ball hole be seen from the outside or from the front view uh, the answer is no so all these features here or these entities we need to convert it to hidden lines Alright, so that's done. Now, let's draw the C channel. Again, the C channel, as I've mentioned before, it starts from the ground, which is the bottom most of this uh, diameter 50 piece. It has a height of 12 mm. Right, so let's draw that first. So line, again, we use tracing method, drag all the way down, same thing. Okay, once you get over, over here, where two of the intersection, I mean two of the lines intersect, left click, and then we'll go horizontally. The same thing, we use tracing method until here, bring it up by 12 mm. Okay, do the tracing method again, and then close it. Okay, if you notice the uh, diameter. 12 here okay if you are looking from the front view we can't see this edge here so that edge should be indicated as hidden line across here 
So go to line, change this to hidden line. And from here, we will just use tracing method all the way down. All right. So yeah, we are almost there. Let's go back to the drawing. Uh, let's draw the stem here. The stem is actually 3mm offset from the lowest ground and with a thickness of 6mm. Alright, so take note. Your stem here starts from the quadrant and ends at the tangent of diameter 50. So the starting point is slightly different. So let me just show you. Line, I'll convert this to construction line but instead of the normal blue, I will be changing it to yeah, maybe a pinkish color with that it's easier for us to see what's where are they so this is the tangent point okay left click drag it down space bar to end it space bar once more to restart the line command and then i will from here all the way down through okay so this is where our stem gonna be okay it should not be right in the middle here it should not be that because where it is joining at tangency is always shorter than the quadrant there. So from here, line, change it to outline. But this time, please remember to change it back to by layer. Okay. So from here, do a little bit, wait a while for a few mi uh, microseconds, drag it up. Hopefully it's working. Okay, once you see that tracing point, the tracing line, you can key in 3mm. Move it to the other side, left click, bring it up and enter the thickness of the stem, which is 6mm. And we will end it on the other side and close it. All right, so with that, we have safely drawn our uh, our stem however if you notice this feature here is actually overlapping so we need to trim the center here because from this case here if you are looking from the center you will not be able to see anything so go to trim you will be selecting all as uh, all objects so space bar once more and select this short portion here Now, let's draw the center line here and here. So line, change the layer to center line. Okay, for this case, we can use the tracing method from the plan view to locate our center line. And same thing for this fella here, we can use the construction line as our guide. Once done, we will lengthen it by 5mm both sides for both lines. Okay, take note whether the line has changed into center line. For this case, it didn't. So I will just be using mesh property function to, yeah, to copy the function on both sides. So MA, mesh property, space bar. Select this original line that we have uh, changed the line type scale and select the bottom line. So if you notice, it changes to long, short, long rather than a continuous long line. Okay, so press escape. Now, at the back side here, we also notice that this portion, this line interfere. So, we need to trim it also. So, trim, select all objects, space bar, and yeah, we will delete this portion. Alright. Now, if you notice, uh, I have not drawn my slot here. Okay, let's check our drawing our slot okay same location however it has a thickness of 3 mm so let me just change the rotate the view to your uh, front view okay so this portion here we have a thickness of 3 mm but this feature occurs within the stem so if you are looking from a point a this slot itself is actually hidden Let's go to our AutoCAD, go to Line, Layer Type, change to Hidden Outline. 
from here tracing method from here touches go down by 3 mm now horizontally same thing we do the tracing method left click and bring it up and what's left is just drawing your center line so line your layer type change to center line and we will do tracing method here to here space bar again to repeat it and trace 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 left click and left click once more now let's extend it to 5mm both sides uh, but this case our lines are continuous we need to change it so right click properties okay let's change it to 0 0.5 okay no change let's put a 0 0.25 okay yeah this line is a little bit tad short so we need to make it even smaller for the scaling once done press close and admire your front view okay so let's check whether everything is in place okay here hidden line the slot has been drawn this feature here the tangent all the way through yeah i guess we have drawn yeah all of it okay now What's left is actually our right end view. Okay, and if we have to rotate this feature here, it will look somewhat like this. Okay, of course, this view has not shown any hidden line. Okay, so hidden line as shown as such. Alright, so let's go back to our AutoCAD and try to complete it. So our end view always comes from the front view too. Okay, so I would need to draw a 45 degree line on this top right hand corner okay the, your 45 degree line must always come from the front view at the same time when you plan out this is the portion here right your 45 must be in between that that empty space there so go to line change it to construction line oh. and from this extremities here okay here to here is extreme of uh, the horizontal and the vertical so fine left click and using your polar tracking switch on let's remember to change it to at 45 degree increment okay with that we can safely align it at 45 degree so left click once and let's extend this line to this portion here and i will draw from that 45 degree wherever it touches draw a line vertically down okay i i prefer to draw directly just what i need so that it can give me roughly uh, how how big or how small the whole drawing on this end view is supposed to be all right let's continue from this corner here i will draw a horizontal line until it touches that 45 drag it downwards again i will use tracing method to just draw what is enough Okay, close it here and lastly this fella here I will extend all the way through so if you notice this is the small boundary or the small uh, indirect boundary that you need to draw your right end view in within it okay so quite simple uh, we can see this feature here very clearly so line let's change this to outline Now from here, drag it down, here, okay, we have uh, the hidden line of the counterbar hole, okay, you can redraw everything again, however, you can also reuse back whatever you have just drawn and copy it over to the other side, okay, because firstly, this length here is diameter 50, and this length is diameter 50 so it's, there's no change uh, it's just a matter of how, how you view it so let's do a blue window selection okay so how to do it let me just repeat again from the top left here left click once and let go and drag it down all the way through okay left click once more once you are done take note just analyze a, do a quick analysis Make sure that you deselect any lines that is not 
usable so press the shift key hold on to it and press the short line here that we don't need it now we can press copy okay you can either start from this center here as a base point or this corner here for this example this corner works well okay because they share the same diameter however in some cases we need to if we happen to apply this as your base point you need to pull out the midpoint from here so let me just show you the second uh, solution so left click here as your base point so we can figure out where is it located right so press the shift key hold on to it right mouse click and press midpoint and with that we can end it press escape now let's continue with our uh, c channel here so the c channel click on line okay it has a width of 24 so from this center here i will just move it hopefully i can get it tracing i'll move it to the left and enter 12 because 24 divided by 2 is 12 bring it up i will use the tracing method drag 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 drag, drag, drag until here now i would draw, go horizontally to the right and enter 24 and bring it down i will draw one more okay we need a 6 mm offset so go to offset 6 mm and from here this side and i will repeat the opposite side to here to here now what's left is to draw the stem and let's not forget our slot too. So this stem here uh, is a bit unique because your center line or, or the stem itself touches on tangency. So this is a little bit small. Okay, if you notice the gap is small, but yeah, it doesn't mean that it ends right at the corner here. Okay, so let's go to line, convert this to construction line with a different color this time. Okay, yeah, you don't need to follow my method of changing the color. It's just uh, for the sake of easy visualization uh, in this video so once you come about this tangent point left click i will drag horizontally okay make sure you are dragging it horizontally until that 45 degree line left click and drag it down so if you see here the gap is very very minute but yeah uh, with that you can easily mist it out so press spacebar and space bar once more to repeat the function okay from here i'll drag horizontally until this portion and bring it down i in fact actually you don't need to do this second method i mean the second step uh, you can just actually draw one side of it okay which is here and then after that mirror it but for the sake of showing the video yeah let's do that so escape let's go to line convert this to outline and let's convert back this to by layer okay so let's do a tracing method from here all the way to this small piece okay upwards by 6 mm and drag it on the opposite side okay let's repeat that fella here so i can just highlight it using the blue selection window again so left click and let go drag it to the right side and left click again but this time i will not be using copy instead i'll be using the mirror tool so click on mirror in the first step specify your first point of your mirror line so one here and second point will be here space bar now one thing to point out is even though we have just drawn the sides here that doesn't mean the stem doesn't exist behind this C channel. If you can see carefully, there is still this outline there. So, since it's still there, we need to draw a hidden line on both the top here and the bottom here. So, let's go to line, convert this to hidden line from here to here, space bar twice, 
to end and repeat the tool and redraw again. All right, so we have come about this portion. What's left is actually your small cutout here, the slot. And this slot again, let's uh, recap. The slot has a width of 12, very similar to the front part of the C channel, the smaller portion, 12. So ideally, you will only see a horizontal line showing the, uh, the depth of this slot. So let's go here. The start will be somewhere here since they share the same thickness okay 12 i will draw one horizontal line short one by a depth of 3 mm then go horizontally until this portion and then draw it up again so line hidden line from this corner here draw down 3 mm horizontally and then end it with going back to the top surface here press escape and let's check our drawing So everything has been done, our, uh, our counter ball hole, our slot, our C channel has been indicated here. This portion here will be a little bit tricky, so just take note. And also this portion here is also tricky because it doesn't touch on, ten, uh, it only touches on tangency, it doesn't touch on the quadrant. If it touch on the quadrant, then it goes all the way through. Okay, and with that, Complete your title block. Let me just hide my construction line by clicking on this light bar to switch it off. And yeah, we have finished our solution for figure 3, question 1b. Thank you very much. Happy trying.